Nine years is a long run. Your fans had a lot to do with that. Yes. Is there anything that you kind of hope they take away a message or a feeling out of this last season? Uh, yes. I mean, I hope they get. I hope they get the closure that you know, they expect and that they sort of want from uh, from the characters and the storylines. Uh, We've taken them on such a ride, and we've thrown them so many curveballs. They've been on an emotional roller coaster with our characters over the past nine or eight seasons. And in the ninth season, um, that's going to be—they're going to go through a lot as well in the ninth season. And I hope that by the end of it, they feel as though they've crossed the finish line um, with a sense of with a sense of accomplishment and closure. And you, especially, I think you and your character have gone through a lot. Yeah. Um, what did you when you were reading those those final scripts? What were you, what was your takeaway? Are you happy with the way that he ended up? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm the most happy with um, with the story between um, Dan and Nathan because okay. I think at the heart of this season is a real father and son narrative storyline between between Dan and Nathan, and that's you know something that I as an actor have always thrived on through Nathan um, over the years, and I love working with Paul. I mean, I to work with Paul quite a bit this year, and so. Um, and so I think for me, that was my favorite part of, of shooting this, right. this final season. And now Nathan is a dad, so I feel like that dad, yeah. thread, that what he went through with his father, kind yeah. of hopefully will teach him what to do, what not to do with his own son. Yeah, and I think it has, and that's one of my favorite, that's been one of my favorite, um, you know, my favorite aspects of Nathan over the past few years is his growth as a father. Mm -hmm. um, and he's really, I think, sort of transitioned into that role pretty seamlessly because he knows from, he knows um, what he wants to do, but more importantly, what he doesn't want to do. Right. And um, and and so that I think has been really a huge part of who Nathan is, and, and I've really enjoyed playing that. And uh, I mean, you left the show for a little while, and you're coming back. So when, in terms of getting you back for that, for those final episodes to wrap out your character, was there something specific that you were hoping that you would get to do or get to, other than you know the the stuff with your father? You know, it's funny. I. When I was coming back, I didn't really expect um, to be doing anything in particular. I sort of left it up to Mark, okay. which I've done, you know, over the years pretty consistently. I've sort of put my faith in him as a storyteller mm -hmm. because he's always really taken care of, of of Nathan's character. Yeah, and he's always always given me incredible things to work with. And I knew that in the final season, there was no way it would be anything different. So there was really no. Um, you know, there was really no request for approval or anything mm -hmm. like that on my part. I, I mean, I knew that if I was going to come back, Mark was going to take care of yeah. Nathan and myself, and uh, I'm glad I did. So, he's gone through so much. It's We just started the final season airing. Is th Are there still a lot of lessons that he has to learn before we get to the end? There are... Um, well, for Nathan. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. I would say there are, are a few, yes. And, and mainly, um, the... The, the biggest lesson that I think Nathan will have to learn will come through his relationship with his father. Okay. And um, it's going to be it's going to be a test. It's going to be a test for Nathan as to whether or not he can truly forgive. And um, and you know I think that's that's a really amazing struggle for him to be having in this last season. It's something that's very real. Mm -hmm. People deal with all the time, and uh, I'm proud to have been able to play. Are there any old issues that might creep up for him as he's dealing with his um, dad? Maybe. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think everything, every, everything that Nathan deals with in terms of his father, mm -hmm. um, it all, it all harkens back to an earlier time, okay. you know, the time when he was younger, and the time that he was still in the house, and the time that we sort of saw as an audience mm -hmm. in season one. It, it all has its roots there. So you know, he has to sort of face all those demons whenever he sees his father. Okay. Do you see a lot of callbacks to the early seasons in the final episodes? Um, there are some. Yeah, there are some. There's a, definitely a feeling of nostalgia that comes with the last few episodes, and I, it's it's necessary and it's actually welcome. And I think um, the fans are going to be the fans are going to welcome that that sense of nostalgia because they're, it's going to take them back to a place that they were when they first started watching the show, mm -hmm. which. Um, you know, if our lives are an indicator of that, it's, it was a much different place.